Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm doing a highly requested, tongue in cheek, highly requested video from by Debs at Debs Treasures. And um, she wanted to have a tour of my shelf that sits behind me, that is pretty much seen behind me rather every time I, I do a, um, a live video from my desk or yeah, when I do a live video from my desk that sits in my room. So this is the back of the room, okay? And I have, starting from the top, quite a bit of books. Mostly books are housed in here, of course. But in there, of course, there's other stuff. So we're going to look at it. We're going to start from the top. Now, most of these books are... The children's books really are my personal collection that I've had, that I've always bought for my kids, that uh, I started selling on Amazon. So I buy more than I started buying them... Um, to sell them on eBay and Amazon and Etsy. But I've always housed and kept the ones that, that pretty much my children grew up with. And um, a lot of them were bought straight from a, a bookstore, but most were picked up at the Goodwill garage sales and that kind of thing. So some of them I even have two or three copies of because, you know, if I see a couple of copies of Harry Potter, I know my daughters also collect them. And then one of my daughters is, um, is in her third year of teaching. She's teaching fifth grade reading this year. But first two years she was teaching elementary, the lower elementary grades. And so I gave her a collection of books lots as well. Lots and lots of books, guys. I would say 80% of these books are listed on Amazon for sale, except maybe the, like the Dr. Seuss books and all of those. Those are really just there for me. So starting at the top, I'll read you some of the titles if you'd like. We are Americans. And please don't judge anything in this bookcase okay is <laughs> there's some crazy books in here as well uh cowboys the kennedy years world geography in mexico el museo nacional de antropologica and i actually have that book there i have it in both english and spanish and i'm not sure where the english one is i think it's in the living room but that's the spanish one and it's a fabulous big giant coffee table book but they are both listed on amazon second shelf i have um the wall which is a vietnam memorial and there is age of faith american the americans that struggle for democracy visiting our past another very old i love. like to buy the old magazine type books because i find very interesting historical aspects in there i also find it interesting the the blatant racism for example when they just the fact that they use the word little in referring to hispanics little hispanic people it's just so degrading so i don't uh, i like to read them though and you know just to juxtapose it to the uh the way things have evolved very positively, I think. We Americans, Texas, a salute from above. There's some AP history study guides there. Winston Churchill, I won't read them all. Oh, that one. Oh, I was hoping to read you that one or to leaf through that black one that's upside down there because I picked that up at a thrift store and it is the classical album covers of the 60s. So it's fabulous. It actually was from a museum work here in one of the... Um, one of the universities did publish that. So it's really, really nice. It's like album size cover art. It's fabulous, but I'm not gonna pull it off right now. And then there's the France book that I bought just for a, a project that my daughter did at Girl Scouts and we picked France and we bought that book. This is where I have, I think I have fiction up here or general, cause I have a lot of them already organized. There's a picture of my daughter when she was a teenager. She's in her 30s now so yeah uh connect the stars we had to read that book for for our what is it called our book of the year or whatever and in the new school that i taught at this year so i read that it's a kind of teen literature and then i think this is well this is pretty the architectural work of via nueva I like this one is actually listed as well on Amazon. Some of these really obscure books really get good money on Amazon. Of course, dictionaries, Native American book there. I found this YouTube Tumblr or uh, water Tumblr at a thrift store. I love it. Never been used either. It's brand new, but I just like it there for display. So I think it's cute. Oh, then I found these for my grandson. Um, they're, they're a little bit out of order, but they're all wood. Very pretty. I love them. He does play with them. He did play with them when he was younger. He's already going to be two, but 
He left them here, so let me see how to make a million downsizing and drilling for oil. Just all kinds of books there. There's my daughter, who's the same one there. Her here as well with her husband. And then I have a little statue there of a blessed virgin. I forgot which one this is. I think this is San Juan. My mother gave me this. It's kind of her thing, her favorite. So she gave it to me. Eyes of Texas Travel Guide. There's all kinds of books in there. And um, then I found this little lady who somebody told me was the fertility god or goddess. I thought it was sterling. It's really heavy. I've never actually tested it though. And I think I took it in and somebody told me it wasn't. But you know what? I think I'm going to test it myself. You never know. So I had it there by their picture so they can have babies, more and more babies. They do have one grandson. They did give me one grandson so far. But we're still hoping for more. Uh, and then this is my middle daughter here. And then there's some more books there. Don Quixote. Don Quixote, The Great Gatsby, Film History. Uh, I think this is kind of the literature section. This is my diploma from eBay University. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This was issued to me, um, I think it was the first or second, yeah, during the first years of eBay, and that is when you had to, you, the stipulations where you had to sell $3,000 a month for, I believe, three consecutive months and positive feedback and all that stuff. So that's what I did, and they sent me that, and I framed it, and they actually sent me a sticker and some other things, and the sticker I have in my planner, I still, I never did use it in my car, which is good, because then it would have been gone. It would have been gone a long time ago. I've been through a few cars since then. Hamlet, um, Best, the Love Poems. So this will be mostly fiction, mythology, Hot Kill a Mockingbird, a lot of the, you know, the the required reading list, Candide, and so forth. And these are all listed as well. Romeo and Juliet, Henry, Frederick Nietzsche, uh, Frederick Nietzsche. I think that's two cop. No, they're different. Beyond Good and Evil, The Birth of Tragedy. Joy's Portrait of the Artist. This is also listed on e on Amazon. Um, Dog Road Woman. These are all my Amazon inventory. And of course, I have three or four other bookshelves, bookcases full. And this is just the one that sits in my room. Three plays. I have two copies of The Love Story. Uh, Douglas. This is a popular author among the millennial set. Go character there. Micro Surfs. I've never read it. But uh, some people are really big fans. If you know anything about it, let me know. I've got this beautiful little moon that I bought at a antique store in Corpus probably 40 years ago because I just loved it. I love anything celestial, and I like the little look on her face or his face. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I've always had it in my bedroom. And then I recently received this from... You see how pretty that is? It's a sun with a little smiling face. And Elizabeth sent me that with my latest purchase from her sale. She's so sweet. She always includes something extra. And she's just the best. So I love it. It's literally stained glass. It is really glass. So I'm going to perch it right there next to the moon. I think it looks perfect. I may have to hang. I was hoping I could hang it right there on the tip of the moon. But I couldn't. But I'm going to bring a stand over here and put it there next to the moon I think it looks perfect this is my middle daughter and my youngest there now the youngest is 19 now and this picture here was when my daughter graduated high school and um, so this, she's the one that's a teacher dictionary col cultural literacy book there um, Harry Potter Lord of the Unicorn, the Lore of the Unicorn. Like I said, these are all my Amazon stock, children's literature. Now, some of these, they're also actually listed. But some of them I buy for my teaching uh, resources as well. The Dragon, the what? The Dragon Lady Handbook. Oh, here's an old American Essays book also listed. Okay. Okay, another shelf here. This is a Sony radio that I purchased, what was it, $10, $6, I don't remember, but it works perfectly. It is a wood cabinet. It's really nice. AM, FM. Love it. I don't have it plugged in right now, but it does work. But I just love the way it looks. I have it back there. Should have pushed it back a little bit more, but anyway, that way it can house. This is my husband and my youngest when she was at the father-daughter dance. Um... 
with the Girl Scouts. She was about five or six there. And there she is there with ballet. And this is my sheep. Is it a sheep or a lamb? Whatever. It's um, I knit, so I love lambs and sheeps, and I just think they're so cute. So I, I was into really collecting those big time. I have quite a collection. I got rid of a few kind of the plushy ones. Here's my nun that's praying. I have her listed as well. And oh, there was another picture of my daughter when she was in kindergarten. I have these collectible cups from Stripes. Now this is the latest ones. When these first came out, these this is Selena. When these first came out, one of my friends told me that they were selling on eBay because they only sell for so long at this convenience store called Stripes here in in Houston and surrounding areas. And uh, they were selling for probably up to $100. So then when they came out with this section, the second edition, I sent my husband out to get them for me. And we haven't used them. They're still sealed and they're really pretty. And they're just little plastic tumblers. Okay, behind her we have more books. We have Biohazard, Data Entry, Nam. Now this book, oh, I'm so upset. My husband was helping me find it. That sold for like $20. We could not find it. I finally found it, and then I didn't even relist it back on Amazon. But it is about Vietnam, and it sold for quite a bit of money. But we didn't find it when we sold it, so now we have it. have to relist it again. Okay, I do have some Lego guys here. There's one there. Whoops, there he went. There's a little shoe. I think this is an ashtray. Yeah, this is a portable ashtray. See the little dent there? It's just a little... Asian shoe made out of bronze or something, copper. Uh, here's a lot of kids' books. Here's a collectible Pez. I have a box full of Pez in this one. I think I had pulled it out of there to show it to my grandson because he loves this character, ma Mater. And so it's there now. Again, all kinds of kids' books here. These are some old... Um, yeah, these are peanuts. Now, I was going to do a project. I already had a project thought of to do about um, cutting these out and doing some decoupage and things with them and um, I think I found out that Etsy would not allow for copyright or something was strict on something about that so I didn't get to do that but I do have that big collection there and um, these are just some, another collection here get off my tail I think these are pop-ups pop-up books this is a dinosaur book or is it an album? Mighty Squid. Oh, no, this is a book that my daughter did in school. It's really cute. I thought it was the, um, the sticker book I made her. Okay, here's a picture of my son and my youngest daughter and my mother. And that's when my son was inducted into the bar, the Illinois bar, when he became an attorney. And um, that was right after he was sworn into the bar. There's my mother there. You can't see her before. Let me bring it up. There's my mother there. My son and my youngest daughter. And she's the one that's 19 now. Okay. Another Lego guy. This one says Fire Style or Fire something. I don't know where he's from. A lot of these came off of pens and things that I had. I don't know where they come from. But um, that's where they're at. Okay, then more kids' books. This is a picture of my... My sister when she was a baby and her daughter when she graduated. This is the niece that I lost at the age of 19. She was 19 and she died of meningitis suddenly. And that was my, my sister's only daughter. She still has a surviving son. And her name was Jackie. And um, yeah, that's my sister when she was a little baby holding a doll. She's so cute. And I had this picture along with another picture of her grandchild. I had put it in here just to do a quick little... Um, post because she looks just like her son's daughter. There were, there were two pictures of them when they were both babies about the same age and I had to send it to her. I said the, the resemblance was uncanny. Okay, here's my son and I when he was what, maybe six months old? Yeah, I think he was about six months old there. And there I am about uh, what was I, 25 years old, 26 years old there. Big hair. Love that big hair. Okay, and then what else? More books. Just Dr. Seuss, random books. Here's a little, um, what do you call it? Paperweight that I showed that uh, I always buy quirky things like this and list them, and they usually sell. I haven't had a chance to list this one yet, but I will list it. It's from Exxon. 
Let's get the little Pac-Man motif here. Little kids books here. All of my Dr. Seuss collection. My golden books there. This is my son when he's about the same age. I used to take pictures like every six months of the kids until they get to be about two years old or whatever. And that's him there. Little chubby. He looks like his son. He just had a son that's going to be two months and he has the same fat cheeks and just now looking at it the resemblance as well it's so interesting all right so here's all the golden books more kids books this is uh i um bought out my nephew's closet and this was some of the books that were in his room i think i told you about and i'm going to bring you that video very soon guys when we unloaded everything i'm finally starting to make my money back on that on that purchase okay here's a couple of pictures that we had from the play groups that my daughter was involved in when she was little oh here's a self-portrait that she did <laughs> so cute a self-portrait that she did when she was going to a, an art camp or something i think she was about five years old there and um that's that and i have a little kind of a bobblehead snoopy there i don't know when i picked that up or why but i did and um more golden books story books i love the old-fashioned story books i even have a madonna kids book here you know remember when madonna did her little Ro english roses series i heard these are now selling or was it the clothing something <laughs> i don't know if it's the books or the clothing because i think she did a line of clothing these too are listed like i said here's some uh artwork from my kids bookmarks and just these little um color books guys they can be very collectible i've sold them for up to 30 dollars on amazon i think some um some hello kitty some What's the pony one? I forget the pink ponies and all of those. They sell really well. I've sold some Transformer and some Hulk. I'm talking $20, $30 range in Amazon. So I always buy them. I have some wrapped in plastic here too. Oh, this is when we went to Disney World when I took my three eldest children. I have, I have never taken my youngest. Still have that there. She's 19 now. She probably doesn't want to go with me now. But anyway this is what is this book noah's art all right books 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 lots of books i have the foreign language area which i started as the foreign language area or language area i have a lot of dictionaries here i have a french dictionary okay. chinese german dictionary this one's listed for like 60 dollars on amazon um french spanish spanish and english i have some of these i, I collect these too these little anatomy guys, but this one had an accident. Got to put him back together. I haven't had a chance to put him back together. Nobody else likes to do it. I got to get somebody to do that for me. It's not that hard, but... Okay, here's an interesting picture that I took. I took this picture when I was on my way to see my dad at the hospital. And I saw the cloud and I thought, that's really a looming dark cloud. And um, I've posted this picture several places because I really had an omen that my dad wasn't going to make it. And he didn't. And, uh, yeah, it was just a, a big, big dark cloud. And I was driving right into it. So, and I took that picture with my phone and printed it. I have to frame that. I still think it's a nice picture, even though it kind of made me think all kinds of things. And here's just a... A card um, my son's business card when he became a lawyer I have it in there it's got all of his personal information and I put his business card in there when he received his first business cards when he started practicing law okay French see all of these are just French foreign language Spanish dictionaries and so forth here's another anatomy guy here is a little match keepsake my middle daughter when she turned 13 we rented the a really fancy hotel room and they went swimming and they they ate and they ordered pizza. Kind of like a slumber party, but we did it in a, in a hotel room, in a very nice swanky hotel room. It was a lot of fun. They enjoyed it. And that was the match box that I kept from that night. So see, I have some lots of double copies of things, dictionaries and so forth, drill, drilling verbs and stuff. And then I have, see this anatomy guy goes there too. I'm going to put him back together later. I think I also showed this in one of my... Hauls that I've sold a few of these already. Um, well, one of them, 
this was given to me. He gave us some of these in there. Just really like a big giant telephone. And this was when the flip phones were out. So this was considered the big one. <laughs> and then the flip phones and all the other phones came out. And this is something from the game. I forget what they're called. Slammers or something. And this is kind of a heavy, really heavy weight one. I need to list that. Here's my other little lamb. He's just a ceramic one. See, I used to have them all together, and now I've lost a few. And this is a bank, Native American. There's actual money in there, but you have to break it. All the stuff that I've been collecting for a long, long time, over 30 years, I've had this. It's a very pretty bank. I bought it at a flea market. I used to love to go to flea market. It says Japan at the bottom. And it's full of money, but I don't know how much. It's been so long since I've contributed to that bank. Uh, this is an interesting little tiki or Hawaiian souvenir. It was really funny because I went to a flea market and the lady was trying to sell it up to me, right? And she was like, well, I got that in Hawaii. And then I look at the bottom and yeah, it says Hawaii, made in Hawaii. But over here at the top, if you can see, it says $1.91. So she obviously got it at the thrift store. <laughs> And I think I paid three or four, and I have to list it because it sells for about 15 or 20. I just haven't had a chance to list it, but there it is. Okay, and then this stuff, I don't know why my, my husband keeps bringing this stuff. I don't know who makes it, but he keeps bringing it. This one's supposed to hold your cards. And there is one up here holding my cards. I may have passed it. I brought this one too, and this one's holding my business cards. That one has a long horn. It's holding my business cards and some other Many of these in picture frames and whatnot, and they're just heavy and cumbersome, and I don't even know what to do with them. I need to list them. I just haven't. But I had some cards in that one, too. Don't have any right now. My daughter was really into presidential trivia as well. So I have some old books from First Ladies here. There's Barbara Bush. And then I have the one with the presidents, and I think it stopped at Clinton there. More books just stacked here. I don't know what puzzle this came from, but there's a couple of pieces that need to be put back together. The so, magazines that my son collected that are also listed on Amazon. Kind of crazy rock and roll magazines. Some Rolling Stones, some other kind of... Um, but all kinds of magazines that are collectible now because they're from the 90s. And they are listed. And oh, this one's interesting. The American Gun. See, I love these old books. So lots of old books in here at the bottom. These are more of the larger coffee table size. I have Thoreau. I love this book. I used to keep this one by my bed and just read it at night because I just think it's so weird. This is one of the ones that I got, Gems and Precious Stones, that I think I bought this one off of eBay. So kind of just my personal reading material, the long tail. This is kind of like the Amazon premise there. Some math formulas, Elder Rage. This one also is listed and the most beautiful mathematical formulas. Here is a giant Walt Disney book, color book that one's listed on Amazon. Okay, so these sell really well. This is Summer of Deliverance, a memoir of father and son. I think this is listed for about $30 on Amazon. And the rest is just kind of, you know, again, like I said, there are things that are mostly listed. I have some crafting paper there, cardstock that's listed. I have some album refill sheets that are listed. Um, I have things that are my own. This is what Vanessa sent me. I love these. Yeah, okay. Those are cute little bookmarks. Here's a magnet that is Noah's Ark. These are all magnets. I have these on a little board up there, but I took the board down, took all the stuff off of it. Here's a loop. And is it good in here? Oh, here's part of the, the Noah's Ark. This is a lion. So that's in there. And this was also down here on the shelf. Just straighten out some of this stuff, guys. And yeah, these were the bookmarks that Vanessa sent me, I believe. Super cute. They're like little, they're, um, you kind of just like clip them on. More bookmarks. This one is from, you know, the kind you get when your kids are in elementary school. There's my middle daughter there. She's the one that's a teacher now. And then I got a Simon here. This is lunchbox. Really pretty plaid. And I don't remember what I had. This belonged to Rick. Done them. Oh, area code on the phone number. CDs, I guess, for um, for the computer. Yeah, we have a 3D Wi-Fi thing. We have a Board Maker Plus. This is really nice for special needs classrooms. And these are just a whole bunch of discs that I probably never will use again. Another one, and it's in Spanish. Vive. Vine a Kamala porque me dijeron que vi 
it's kind of hard to read that font. I can read Spanish, but that was kind of hard to read. So it's for women and uh, kind of a juxtaposition of people here. Frida Kahlo and um, Shirley Chisholm. And, okay, so I have that. I think I got that when we went to a university field day. This is not like a real lunchbox. It's just one of those like commemorative ones, I guess, decorative ones. And in this one, and that was on a mission to do some spelling bees with my kids, with my youngest. And so we we did we did our own cards, and we did the derivative, and it was Spanish, Greek, Italian. We did the word, cafeteria, noun, restaurant, and then we spelled it. And so she was supposed to be studying these, and um, she did a little bit, but she. Didn't pursue it as much as I had wanted her to, but you know, that happens. And that was that. But I still have them here. I should sell them. And we were just trying to prepare for the school spelling bee. So and she did well. I think she made it to like the second or third round. It was right here. This is really cute. I had actually sold this on eBay, but when I first started selling, uh, but then they didn't pay or something. I don't know what happened. I thought, you know what, this is really too nice. I want to keep it. And I had, it's full of $5. Since it has the nickel, I, I told my husband, you know, it's got the five cents. I told my husband, I want to fill it with nothing but $5 bills. So it's full of $5 bills. One day we'll break into it and buy dinner or something. I don't know. But that's that. And I think that's it, guys. The end of the tour of the, well, that's going to, this ran 34 minutes. And I know you're going to be bored to death of it. But it was requested and I thought, oh, we also said I thought I would make this a tag video. So I am tagging now. Anybody who has a bookshelf full of stuff like mine, I know that Dawn had one and she showed a little bit of it the other day when we were, they were doing a sale for Sandy's jewelry. So I want to tag Dawn Maserati to do a shelf tour as well, well to see Tanya's as well. Because I know Tanya not only has a shelf, she has a room. So I want to see Tanya's room. And so consider yourself tagged, Miss Tanya and Miss Dawn and... Um, I think Princess Casserole, Carla, has a shelf as well. So we're going to have those tagged. And like I said, if I didn't mention your name, that doesn't mean you can't, doesn't mean that you can't participate. Please do and join us in the shelf tour tag. All right? Okay, guys, I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you then. Bye.